Just the other day, I was asked um, by two different people to, uh, if I had any blogs on how do you clean up custom inventory, and then a second one on uh, how much data gets collected by this. And I thought it was a really good uh, article, so I'm going to do those uh, as two separate articles uh, coming up. But before I did that, I needed to set up some custom inventory so I could show this. This is where this blog comes into place. I thought I would update the uh, Reg Kedemoff uh, blog, add a video showing the steps into it. Now, in the Reg Kedemoff, you'll notice that I'm using the terminal server um, RCM one, and I'm not going to do that because it's not relevant for what I want to do. What I want to do is to pick this uh, WMI uh, DCOM bypass, and if you've watched this article, you'll notice that there's a key uh, with a value that you can uh, collect. I'm going to use that for the example in this video, and I'm going to use that in the next two on calculating how much data is collected, along with how do you clean it up after the fact. So let's get started. So starting on my desktop, I'll launch the reg key to MOF. Okay, so I'll make this just a little bit larger. Um, the first thing to do is to browse down the H key local machine. So you'll notice that only H key local machine is being shown. When I expand off uh, software, I then go to Microsoft. I then can type O to take me all the way down to the uh, O's. And from here, I'm going to click on the uh, app compatible. And you notice that as I do this, all the uh, um, MOF files are being edited up on the fly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am not a fan of using the custom uh, moniker. I like to use your company. So in this case, I'm going to use Ask Garth. And then for the class name, app compatibility means nothing to me. So for this particular example, I'm going to call it the CVE ID. So I'm going to go uh, CVE-2021-26-2021. Uh, and you notice that it's all changing on the fly as I um, type on this thing. Also notice that the hyphens are becoming underscores in the particular things. Now this also has a checkbox to say get the 64 and the 32 bit. Uh, for this example, I am going to unselect the uh, 64 bit. And effectively, I am done uh, um, creating them off on this thing. So what I end up doing is clicking the save button over here. And I'm just going to put it onto my desktop here. And as I do, you can see that uh, it's created all the CM12, CM07, and SMS2003. Now, it's unfortunate that it says CM12 uh, uh, or Configuration Manager 12, because this actually also applies fully to uh, current branch. And this is what I'll be using in the next step. So I'm going to close off this, and just because I don't want to get confused or anything else, I'm going to delete all the old uh, MOF files and just leave the 2CM12. So I'm going to highlight them both and go copy. I always get this one confused in the Windows 11. And we connect off to my CM12 server. So I'm going to paste them onto my CM12 server and open up my um, 
open up my uh, server. So as any good administrator, I never install Configuration Manager on the C drive. And the first uh, edits I'm going to have to do is on the uh, Configuration MOF, which is under Configuration Manager in Boxes. And then it's uh, Client Source Files, Hardware Inventory, and just out of habit, I always back up the, uh, the file. So I'm going to, uh, that's the import. This is the, and open up with Notepad. I'm literally going to copy that. And I'm going to open up the other Notepad and go right to the bottom. And Microsoft have added in your own extension, sorry. So I'm going to paste mine. I'm going to go save. So the first step is done. The second step is to import the client settings. So I go into my Configuration Manager console. I go to my client settings. I open it up. And I did tell it, okay. And then I go hardware inventory. I go classes. I click import. And you can see the two files on my desktop. So the import is the one that I want to open. I import, go import. And I am done. So from this point forward, all clients within my environment will uh start inventorying that class. If I didn't want to do that, I could unselect this checkbox next to the CVE one and then make a custom uh, um, client settings and enable it and those clients who have it would do this. But by default, I'm a fan of doing it on everybody everywhere. Um, the small amount of data that it's going to cause in my opinion, is well worth it. So this is the updated video for uh, the Reg Key to MOF on how to use it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to the uh, uh, YouTube channel and our newsletter for updates on um, new blogs and topics of that nature.